Hare Krishna. Thank you for the ecstatic welcome. That's the best welcome there can be. With ecstatic chanting of the holy names of Krishna, you should all go throughout your whole life chanting the holy names of Krishna. And the more there is this ecstatic chanting with dancing and powerful playing of madangas, then the more all the dirty things in the heart will be chased away. It's a very simple process. There's really no need to do anything else but chant Hare Krishna. We also discuss the philosophy of Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam just to understand who is Krishna and to chase away all the silly ideas which we picked up over many millions of lifetimes. That is required, but the uh, p- perfection is there completely in chanting Hare Krishna. So go on with this chanting throughout life and for eternity. This is life. Everything else is just like zombies, walking dead bodies. Now we were just driving in Mahabalipuram and Pakshi Tirtam and Chengal Petu and all these places. We must have seen several thousand people. But any one of you looked more ecstatic than all of them put together. There's no happiness outside of chanting Hare Krishna. Otherwise, there, there are so many other kirtan. There's, you see, there's another kirtan going on now. <laughs> People who don't chant Hare Krishna, they end up as dogs in the street, barking. So take your choice. You can become an expert astrologer. You can tell people what will be in your next life if you don't chant Hare Krishna. Instead of being a, an animal in human form, you'll become an animal in an animal form. So chant Hare Krishna and get a spiritual form in the spiritual world to serve Krishna eternally by chanting his holy names and so many other services. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. That's all for now. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Jai Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. All glory to you.